Good morning all. I am Neha Rao. In today's lecture, we will discuss on bacterial diseases, symptoms and treatment. The contains of bacterial diseases, airborne bacterial diseases, foodborne bacterial diseases and waterborne bacterial diseases. What is bacterial disease? Bacteria is a unicellular prokaryote that causes disease called pathogen. Disease mechanisms are First, some bacteria destroy living cells and tissues of the infected organisms directly and or provoking response from immune system. And other bacteria release toxins called poisons that interfere with the normal activity of host. These all are the airborne bacterial diseases, streptococcal diseases, diphtheria, pardusis, meningococcal infections, hemophilus influenza infections, tuberculosis, pneumococcal pneumonia, primary atypical pneumonia, and legionellosis. Streptococcal disease caused by streptococcus pyogens. The symptoms are pharyngitis, septicemia, internal infections, scarlet fever, immune-related complications such as rheumatic fever, glomerulonephritis, Diphtheria caused by coronary bacteria and diphtheria. The symptoms are upper respiratory infection, pseudomembrane formation, may spray into bloodstream, leads to cardiovascular damage. Vaccination with diphtheria toxoid vaccine may prevent human from coronary bacteria and diphtheria. Pertussis is also called as whooping cough caused by Bordetella pertussis. The symptoms are upper respiratory tract infection, may be severe in children and elderly, difficulty breathing, usually does not spread into bloodstream. Meningococcal infections caused by Neisseria meningitis. The symptoms are upper respiratory tract symptoms, septicemia, meningitis, headache and steep neck, listlessness, dizziness, disorientation, seizures, coma and may lead to death. Hemophilus influenzae infections caused by Hemophilus influenzae. The symptoms are upper respiratory tract symptoms, rhinitis, sinusitis, otitis media, epiglottitis, septicemia and meningitis. Another airborne disease, tuberculosis, caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. The symptoms are lung infection, destruction of alveoli, cuff and sputum formation, tubercle formation, may remain dormant for years and then become active again, may spread to other areas of body called miliary tuberculosis. Pneumococcal pneumonia caused by streptococcus pneumonia. The symptoms are secondary bacterial pneumonia, lower respiratory tract infection, pneumonia, fluid buildup in lung. Primary atypical pneumonia caused by mycoplasma pneumonia may be opportunistic, frequently causes mild cases of primary pneumonia, secondary pneumonia in immunocompromised patients. Legionellosis caused by Legionella pneumophila. The symptom is mild to moderate pneumonia. So, this is all we have seen about airborne diseases. The next one is foodborne and waterborne bacterial diseases. Foodborne intoxications versus infections, botulism, cephalococcal food poisoning, Clostridium food poisoning, typhoid fever. Salmonellosis, Shigellosis, Cholera, Diseases Associated with Ischia coli, Campylobacteriosis and Helicobacteriosis. Foodborne intoxications versus infections. Foodborne intoxications caused by exotoxins secreted by bacteria in contaminated food and foodborne infections caused by the ingestion of live bacteria that colonize the digestive tract. The another foodborne disease, botulism caused by Clostridium botulinum, transmitted by contaminated food and other mechanisms of transmissions, 
spoon botulism, animal botulism, and infant botulism. The staphylococcal food poisoning caused by Staphylococcus aureus causes abdominal pain, nausea, diarrhea, and for a few hours, the diarrhea will be there. Clostridial food poisoning caused by Clostridium parfringens. It is similar to Staphylococcal food poisoning. Typhoid fever caused by Salmonella typhi. The symptoms are invades intestinal epithelial tissue, ulceration, bloody stools but little diarrhea, blood invasion, fever, delirium, blood vessel hemorrhaging, rose colored spots on the abdomen, bowel, perforation, gallbladder infection. Salmonellosis caused by different species of salmonella, salmonella enteritis, salmonella gallinarum, salmonella typhimurum. Symptoms are gastroenteritis, cramps, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Shigellosis caused by Shigella sonni, Shigella dysentery, Shigella flexneri, Shigella boidei. And the symptoms are gastroenteritis, often with watery diarrhea, sometimes with bloody stools, dysentery, cholera caused by Vibrio cholerae. The symptoms are gastroenteritis with extensive severe diarrhea, rice water stools, dehydration and death. Disease associated with Shishia coli caused by Shishia coli is also called as infantile diarrhea, traveler's diarrhea, hemorrhagic E. coli disease, Kidney damage in children may observe. Campylobacteriosis and helicobacteriosis caused by Helicobacter pylori. The major symptom is stomach irritation and ulcers. How to prevent bacterial disease? Many bacterial diseases can be prevented by stimulating body's immune system with vaccines. A vaccine is a preparation of weakened or killed pathogens or inactivated toxins. These are the examples of vaccines, PCG vaccine for tuberculosis, DPT for diphtheria, pertussis and tetanus, and HIV is for hemophilus influenza infections. The treatment on bacterial diseases, antibiotics, these are the chemicals that interfere with cellular processes of bacteria. Examples, aminoglycosides, cephalosporins, macrolide, penicillin, quinolone, sulfonamides and tetracyclines and some of the other antibiotics use the treatment of various bacterial diseases. Aminoglycosides act by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis. They are used as a drops for some ear or eye infections but cause problems with the kidney or with hearing. And these all are the marketed preparations of aminoglycosides. The next one is cephalosporins antibiotics. These are broad, broad spectrum antibiotics to treat infections such as septicemia, pneumonia, meningitis, biliary tract infections, periotonitis, and urinary tract infections. And these all are the marketed preparations of cephalosporins. Macrolide antibiotics, an antibacterial spectrum that is similar but not identical to that of penicillin. So, uh, often used for people with penicillin allergy. To treat penicillin resistance strains of bacteria, useful for treating lungs and chest infections, used for skin infections, and some sexually transmitted infections. These all are the marketed preparations of macrolide antibiotics. Penicillin antibiotics, broad spectrum antibiotics to treat infections such as respiratory tract infections, skin infections, urinary tract infections. Fluxacillin is reserved for treating bacteria that are resistant to other penicillins and these all are the marketed preparations. Quinolones antibiotics, broad spectrum antibiotics used to treat wide range of infections, UTI and respiratory infections and these are the marketed preparations of quinolones. The next sulfonamide antibiotics, these are not used nowadays due to bacterial resistance and these are the marketed preparations of it. Tetracycline antibiotics. Uh, used to treat wide range of other bacterial infections including respiratory and genital infections and these are the market preparations. And these all are the other antibiotics used in the treatment of bacterial disease. Thank you.